Hello data scientist welcome to skillkit this is an intuition video on the popular long short term memory networks or lstm and in the next 5 minutes or so i'll explain you the basics of what lstms are what they do and how they have paved the way to some of the most amazing achievements deep learning has made in the past few years for introductions we are skillkit and we are on a mission to bring you application based machine learning education We launch new machine learning projects every week so make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified of all our upcoming videos As we all know neural networks are inspired by the human brain and their typical structure is like this there's an input layer a bunch of hidden layers and lastly an output layer and all of these circles within this network are called neurons and hence the name neural networks from a functional standpoint label data that could be images or text etc is fed to this network as training begins the network uh, uh, starts learning computing and adjusting weights and biases for its hidden layer neurons during this learning phase training data passes multiple times through the network as per the defined epochs for training talking specifically about neurons these are nothing but functions that take input from the left side conduct some processing and return output to the right and there could be multiple ways of how one may wish to configure these neuron functions and arrange them into a sophisticated network like this and this is the basic premise of why there are so many deep neural network approaches having custom neuron functions and their arrangements and one such approach is long short term memory networks or simply lstm LSTM is a variant of recurrent neural network or RNN and is proven to work well with learning and remembering patterns across time. Unlike RNNs, LSTMs are explicitly designed to handle long-term dependency problems. Remembering information for long periods of time is practically their default behavior, not something they struggle to learn. Now let me give you an intuitive understanding of how LSTMs operate. I'm sure you would have read a fiction novel or some story in the past else you surely would have read some shakespeare drama like romeo and juliet in the past for sure now imagine what it will take for a computer to read and comprehend a novel the way we do as humans while reading this novel there are certain details you may want to remember as these would be required for you to understand the later context like the name of the characters where they live how they are related to each other age of these characters etc if you miss any of these things you may have a hard time flipping pages back and getting the context right so you may want to store these things in your so called long term memory and and for sure a computer would need this too if it wants to read a book like humans then there could be certain details specific to the scene you are currently reading like uh it's morning time or it is raining in that scene or there are two characters go- who have gone for a walk etc you remember these scene specific details till the time this scene ends and then you can afford to forget it so for sure you may want to keep these details in something called as short term memory within your brain and for sure a computer would need this as well then you may also want to keep refreshing your long term memory of this book example if a character dies you may then afford to forget certain details of this deceased character right and if there's a new character getting introduced later in the book you may want to save it in your long term memory within your brain so basically you have a forgetting and a saving mechanism to keep refreshing your knowledge of this book that you have in your long term memory within your brain a computer shell also need these forgetting and saving mechanism to keep refreshing its long term memory and lastly when you start reading a new scene your brain somehow figures out what part of your long term memory of this novel is relevant for immediate use so instead of using the entire full long term memory all the time it learns which part of it to focus at a given point in time for example if there's a love scene you may want to recollect details on the looks clothing preferences age group of the characters that are playing that scene right so that you may emotionally connect to that scene 
a computer would need that too so as to efficiently manage its memory uh, and we can call it a retrieval mechanism all right that's a lot of stuff for a system to handle right now what if i tell you that lstms essentially meet all of these requirements to read and comprehend text just like humans for instance they have a long term memory called the cell state a short term memory called the hidden state a forgetting from long term memory mechanism called the forget gate a saving to long term memory mechanism usually called input gate and finally a retrieval mechanism from long term called the output gate this is a pictorial view of what an lstm architecture is like inside we have the same set of things like this cell state the hidden state the forget gate input gate and the output gate well of course there's a lot of mathematics happening behind all of these gates that determine how the information flows within this network if you are interested in further understanding that math there's this popular article i would highly recommend you to go through at this point i'll share the link in the description part as well All right, let's dig deeper now with these couple of real-world applications of LSTM to further understand how they operate in a practical sense. These two applications are sentence completion, wherein the trained LSTM model completes unseen sentences, and uh, text classification, where the trained LSTM model classifies, uh, let's say, user reviews into the sentiments positive and negative. for solutionizing these uh, sentence completion and text classification use cases we would require text data so you may need to transform text data possibly using word embeddings and then start lstm model training within the lstm network the hidden layer neurons shall have this structure as we already know by now at any instance t lstms get feedback on what happened at t minus 1 using this long term and short term memory feedback loops and when the training starts lstm neurons in the hidden layer learn the specific patterns and associations in the training data set to make predictions for instance in the case of uh, sentence completion we train an lstm model on tons of textual data where the model trains on sentences where few words within those sentences are masked and model predicts those masked words and keep learning how to do it smartly learning association among words that are close by and far apart post training when we feed this fresh incomplete sentence to our model for completion its lstm neurons may detect the country name as france store it in its long term memory and basis the recent words speak and fluent the network will smartly predict french as the missing value because it would comprehend that it, it's a language which is uh, expected in the m- missing space and because france was mentioned previously as a country this missing word has to be french cool right moving on in the case of text classification let's say this is the labeled training data we use these are essentially apple iphone user reviews along with positive negative labels As you may observe here the positive feedbacks talk about iPhone being value for money user seems to be okay with the high service cost given the premium experience they are getting when compared to android negative feedbacks talk about how monotonous the iPhone experience is vis-a-vis android after using it for a year and uh, then there's some sarcasm over selling kidneys we all have seen that right Now once the model is trained the specific neurons in the hidden LSTM layer may specialize on detecting the kidney sarcasm the positive negative comparison to android or the value for money part that iphone brings and when a new unseen review is fed for prediction the model may tell the review is full of sarcasm and is clearly favoring android over iphone and is a negative review At this point if you wish to apply LSTM to our real world project I have good news for you. We have done this sentiment analysis project for text classification using LSTM. Uh 
I'll highly recommend you to do this project now to further strengthen your understanding of LSTM networks and how they work in a real life scenarios. Link to this project is in the description part below. Well, with this, we have come to the end of this LSTM intuition video. If you liked our work, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your support. Keep learning. Bye.